Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I want to introduce you to the new watch list uh, that looks like I'll probably go ahead with for this new system, third iteration over the last two years. Uh, last week, six days ago, I put up this video demo of systematic pair trading arbitrage long and short. Um, basically what that did was it filtered from 14,000 to 4,000 stocks for the U.S. And then it was able to combine a long and short for all the combinations of all the uh, sectors in the markets that are tracked by Yahoo Finance. So in this video, I've added three new filtering processes on top of that 150 set of pairs or 150 plus set of pairs. And we've whittled it down to four pairs for a long and short in a variety of sectors. Now, this is the watch list that um, you would typically use, and this is the typical uh, nerve center of this system for the equity pair trading. So we have our long and our short. We have a what we call a reference spread between the closed price of the long and short, which is a ratio between the two and then we start tracking it week by week by week. And over time, we will decide, or the system will decide, if and when it will go out and add on a position based upon some indicators that we could use to see if this pair combination, for instance, is worthy of putting a position on. Well, let's see what happens. So these are the current position or spread uh, which is measured against the um, current reference uh, spread. And that's, again, over week by week. And then this gives it eight weeks of opportunity to, to basically uh, you know, allow a position to uh, get put on. And here we track the percentage and the difference in the spreads between the current spread versus the reference spread at the time that this pair was added to the watch list. Okay, so that's basically how that works. So now what the system will also generate is it will generate two things. This is for technical analysis. So in our case of the CLS Flex combination, which is this pair, what it will do is it will measure that ratio between the closing price and the... Um, Closing price of both the long and short, and it'll track that that spread. And what you can see here is that we also have in green the trend line. And once that spread crosses into the trend line, it's one indicator that we could say, this looks like a good time to go into uh, or put on the position for both the long and short. Now remember, when you're doing this type of trading, you have to put on both the long and the short the positions for both have to be done at the exact same time for the bit entry and set the same for the exit. Very important. Okay, so we've got those measured out as you can see here. So the next thing we need to also do, looking at the CLS and Flex, we are also going to track the individual technicals or technical analysis of each of these stocks. So we have CLS. And again, you can see here, we've got our moving average, 20 and 200 days, volume on a MACD, as well as the, um, I'm sorry, this is uh, uh, volume, I believe, as well as the uh, MACD. And then of course we have the RSI as well up here, okay? So we have that for each of these stocks. So in our case, we just showed you flex. And there you go. So that will be uploaded to the Quant Analytics service week by week, including this watch list CSV uh, that I just showed you. Now let's check out in, in uh, Yahoo how this is doing. So the first one I'm going to show you is the is the first one which is BKH the long which will be in blue and the FE 
which is a short, which is in green. Okay, so this is the, the, the last one that I'll show you. Well, the first one of the last batch. But you can see here, uh, this is the one day. Now, currently right now, um, for today's day, which is December 8th, you can see that there, there's some opportunity here of them uh, crossing. So now would be a good time to see how they do. Now, depending upon how you want to trade this, there's not much of the real trading opportunity to make any cash as they diverge. But when you expand the chart to, let's say, a one month, you can see here if you put on that same trade back in November 9th, it looks like, and you waited it out to about here for about roughly a month, you could have had um, not a lot of moves, but if I'm not mistaken, you roughly have about 10% of a spread difference the time you put on here. So that's a nice return to have over one month. Now, if we expand it even further for a three month, you can see here for the three month, if you were to put it here, November till here, we're still about 10% spread. Now, I'm not, I mean, you could hold on to it for a year, see what kind of, so if you wait it out for December, a year, you know, you're looking at roughly, well, <laughs> quite a bit actually. So just that divergence between the two there, that's quite, quite extensive. That's almost a 50% divergence if you wanted to hold on to that type of trade for a year. Okay, but again, you're going to be analyzing the system, or the system will be analyzing these, uh, not just the entry, but of course the exit as well. So let's take a look at the next pair. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, so the next one we are going to look at is, let's check out the first one, CMN and HAE. So CMN's the long. And uh, let's do the short is HAE. Let me do a reset here. HAE. Let's do an intraday to see how that's doing. So here's uh, the one day. Chart unavailable, five day. Something happened here for the blue on HAE. So up until Monday, it stopped, they stopped tracking it. Interesting. One month. So here it just stopped trading. Um, but uh, not much divergence there. About 10% maybe. But it's not my, that's over the last month. So that's not too bad. Let's check out another combination here. So we got flex and CLS. Okay, reset, short CLS. So here, again, um, let's say here, you might have had roughly about, let's say 35% between here and here. And that would be over, just over a month. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that's more. That's about quite a bit actually. <laughs> yeah, so that'd be about a year. But let's, let's check out maybe a three month, see how that did. So you can see they cross each other. But it's interesting how the, the, the blue is along. So let's say we went in here, December 1st, to here, from here. A little bit of a divergence. But um, yeah, so we tried the one day. We can see here, December 8th, roughly here they crossed. And you can see the difference is about, mm, not much. 
maybe 2%. All right, so let's move on to the last pair here, C and CHH. CHS, let me do a reset here and then get the last ones. DXPE. Okay, so let me do a one day. So let's say here, so that'd be today actually. It's already diverged roughly. But here, December 8th, if you wanted to do intraday trading, here, here, uh, I'm looking at 1.5% move, not much. But let's say if we spread it out over a three month, um, you can already see here that roughly a 10% move in the last month. So you could see, um, let me see a one month here. So let's say from here, November 16th. So we're already at a 7%. So it's quite clear uh, with these four pairs historically that you will get um, higher returns on profit on your exit if you hold the position longer. Um, and uh, over the long run, uh, like intraday, your, your, your returns are fairly minuscule. So um, this is probably the reason why you may want to hold on to these type of positions on for longer. So I just thought I'd show that to you. And of course, week by week, we will be adding more of these uh, uh, trading ideas and of course we'll be looking for different indicators over those eight weeks to see what we um, add on based upon the various criteria of our of our of our technicals that we have access to hope this helps you out talk to you later